your eyes for a minute Close your eyes for a second I won't change my mind on this episode of Posh Card Eyes Investigate, we're going to be talking about the Leongara Mushroom Poison Saga. Come with me as we unpack the details that is unfolding. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Posh Card Eyes Unfiltered. We are on a Posh Card Eyes Investigate episode today. It's very interesting, it's quite a profound one. So I will try and summarize the details as it, as I know them. But before then, this is a bit of a housekeeping, guys. Thank you so much for coming on board the Porsche Farm Train. To my new SOB, thank you. And to my existing SOB, thank you as well. Do not forget to like, comment, please comment, okay? And share this channel with your friends. It will help my channel grow. With that said, let's get into this particular fascinating story that happened in the royal part of Victoria. So I think I am not the only Australian that was shocked by this breaking news, I would say two weeks now. Welcome to the news that um, three people had lost their life with one currently fighting for their life um, in a hospital here in Victoria, Melbourne, Australia. And we were like, wow, three people? I needed to click this particular news article and it went for that to say these three people went for a lunch or dinner um, and apparently they think it's a case of food poisoning and of course when you hear things like this you are immediately going to say to yourself how uh, we want to know more and so there wasn't much, I think it was still breaking, but then a couple of days after I became a little bit interested because rumors were now swirling around the circumstances that um, is this particular situation, which I'm tagging Mushroom Gate now, okay? So what do we know so far? I'm going to be alleging because this is an ongoing investigation. Apparently the host, Erin Patterson, invited how should I say ex-family right now? Because what we can now get at is she was married to this particular deceased people because they share the same surname. So Erin Patterson invited her ex-in-laws over for dinner. We don't know the circumstances as to why she had to invite them. Now the ex-in-laws are, are reverend members of uh, the community in Leongata. They are, I think, preachers. Uh, among people that have that are deceased now, um, Dawn and Gail Patterson, as well as Heather Patterson, and the husband in who is still at the moment in critical condition in hospital. Okay, she invited those people over. What we are also hearing is she also invited her ex husband Simon, and it's been alleged that she invited them over for like a peace offering or a reconciliation of sorts because she wants her husband back okay what we now know again is that Im refused to turn up or cancelled at the last minute or was a no-show basically rumors also circulated that her children were present for this particular lunch slash dinner situation and the meal that was prepared or she was offering to prepare was a beef wellington garnished with some poisonous mushroom as we now know what it is now and you know again the article did not really specify for me it became interesting when he said ex-in-laws that got my brain like mm, something is not right here and i'm like okay three people from this gathering are dead one in critical condition whatever happened to the host whatever happened to the host kids that were supposed to be at present during this particular dinner gathering the host seemingly is fine didn't she share from the meal? The kids are on hot. Didn't they partake in this particular reconciliation meal? And I'm like, what the fish is going on here? There's so much mushroom, there's not enough mushroom. We need to know the dates, okay? And again, I kept pressing because it's, it's breaking. As I'm speaking, we are getting more information with this case. And so a few days later, we... It came out on the news allegedly that Erin Patterson was speaking. 
she was trying to clear her name now what we now know there was a full food dehydrator that was found on the tip in my head i'm like what is a food dehydrator and what do people use that for i had to google what that is apparently food dehydrator in a simple term helps drain out uh, water from vegetables and fruits uh, apparently to probably dry it as the as it sounds as the name inclines dehydrator and i'm like i'm no sous chef but i would say erin patterson went all out for this particular dinner gathering okay food dehydrator food processor whatever beef wellington you know and then there's the garnish mushrooms that was that was being dehydrated in the situation i'm like how this is this dehydrator in the tip and how are we linking what they found in the tip to this whole scenario like make it make it make sense for me because i am not understanding what's going on i probably would never be a sous chef given that i i, I only found out that there is a kitchen appliance is called a food dehydrator it's quite interesting quite fascinating would i ever need one i do not think so i'm not looking forward to winning miss michelin star but i digress now back to the story Erin allegedly gave her own version of event. She had nothing to do with the death of her relatives. She loved them so dearly. And, you know, uh, the hydrator wouldn't get any information up until today, where I got to read a news article from, I think, ABC, saying that she has again come on out to give a written statement. It was alleged that she evaded police interview. She went on the pleading on the no comment route pleading the fifth essentially and according to her from this article today she is saying she regretted the decision to plead the fifth or no comment and because that had, has now created um conspiracy theorists giving their own version of events and things have now escal escalated to the point it has according to erin patterson she also was rushed to leongata hospital and then eventually transferred to monash medical center we do not know the proof of this she is alleging she bought the mushrooms the buttons mushroom from a big uh supermarket and the <laughs> exotic mushroom i'm gonna call it now from an asian grocery she's saying she got the a the uh, exotic mushroom that we can now say it's poisonous a while back so we are saying this particular incident happened on the 31st of July. Now, you got the mushroom, the Asian exotic mushroom, a while back. So, we're saying weeks prior, right? Before today. Maybe that was the reason why you had to dehydrate this particular mushroom to preserve it for when you needed it. But we do need receipts. Like, yeah, did you pay cash? She can't remember the particular Asian grocery store she went to get this exotic mushroom. Really, girl? You need to come <laughs> come on correct okay we need names you can't tell us you don't know the name of the asian place you went to get the grocery shop the uh, exotic mushrooms that's like a joke that's like saying your life is hanging in the balance three people have lost their life there's one in the hospital critically sick and you got to come in and to tell us you cannot remember babe don't claim amnesia here go fix your brain and get it to reset and refresh and bring no way that is a bullshit sorry that is an excuse that we cannot accept she went further to say that her kids were not present for this lunch because this is now contrary to what we hear that her kids were present but then they ate something different and she's also saying that she had uh suffered stomach upset as well as diarrhea following this particular meal they all ate and what was quite interesting she said she saved the dish and allowed everyone chose choose whatever they what plate they were they were going to have and she had the last plate and that is quite fascinating and curious because i don't understand why you would need to share the fact that you allowed everyone to choose the plate they wanted and you were the last person to get a plate that doesn't sound right like for you to remember that detail it sounds very sauce but that's me and i'm thinking allegedly she did this why would you do this because it takes a lot of passion you must really be invested in someone to risk going to jail just to nick them off and i i i i don't think i i love anyone that much to 
want to go to this extent now i will tell you why i'm fascinated about this story whilst i was growing up i loved my favorite channel was crime and investigation channel and i best uh, the best series i would go for was why women kill or what makes women kill or the first 48 hours to um a crime you know those are like favorite favorite go-to uh series on the crime and investigator network and yes it's kind of fascinating when you get to understand or get into the mindset of women who kill and why they kill and what drives them to the point where they have to or they have no choice they see themselves as having no choice other than to commit a crime it is quite interesting and i don't i always see it's passionate because there's no way you can say i'm not in love with this person but then i want to you know nick them off no freaking way i there's i can't be that invested to plan all of this requires you investing time mental effort and all of the resources just so you want to nick someone off and it's seriously not that serious it is not that serious but again people are depraved and so you can exactly compare a lost mind to someone that is actually sane but as we have uncovered erin's ex-partner simon also some years back was struck by this same particular gastrointestinal situation where he was rushed to the hospital for um exhibiting signs like from as a result of maybe food poisoning so i think the purple will definitely be going back to re to uncover exactly what happened with simon at that time because we now know these two are no longer together and you nicking off simon's parents is the height of saying i don't want to let go it's the height of i don't want to let go these are your kids grandparents for christ's sake how bad are they that you would resort to this sort of allegedly guys i'm alleging <laughs> okay let's not speed this up i'm alleging and so i am still a little bit unsettled about this particular developing situation i'm hoping that the police can get to the bottom of this and give us the information that would clear erin's pat erin's name and give simon patterson the respite he needs to mourn the loss of his family quite literally his mom his dad uh there's the sister-in-law and the sister sister and the sister uh and the sister's husband it is quite an exodus i don't know now to the dehydrator how did the dehydrator get to the tip we have just uncovered that According to Erin Patterson, allegedly, she said Simon called her, I'm alleging, Simon called her to ask, is the food dehydrator, what, was the food dehydrator uh, weapon that you used in nicking of my folks? Or was that what you used in nicking of my folks? And according to Erin Patterson, she panicked. Why would you panic if you have a clear conscience? Anyway, she panicked. Given that she had told police she chucked the food dehydrator unit years ago. And so in that panic to re relieve of her the burden of still having in possession of the food dehydrator, she chucked it in the tip. Why would you even panic? What would you do? She was worried about losing custody of her children. And it gets quite fascinating and interesting and intriguing, guys. She, at the start, came out to the press, coming out crying, you know, really crying with all of the tears. I didn't do this. I love them so dearly, professing love. They are like family to me. My children love them, blah, blah, blah. And to now you panicking and checking out the food processor because your ex-husband asked if that was an evidence in the crime alleged crime and so now forensic investigation is now ongoing or being carried out on that food dehydrator unit to uncover 
more if in fact the dehydrator was used in processing the asian exotic mushroom that's the substance that this that's the common denominator consumed by these people that have lost their life and one still fighting for his life in the hospital what do you guys think why do women kill and why would someone go to this extent to i would think alleged alleging that for you to do this it means you have done this before and gotten away with it like you have successfully done this gotten away with it and it's that confidence that you are now using to perpetrate a alleged crime again may the souls of dawn gail and heather patterson rest in peace it is quite unfortunate that we have to remind ourselves and these are just basic things that we need to have in our in the back of our minds what you think about others is not what they think of you i don't eat in people's houses for a reason and this is probably one of the reasons because it takes just five minutes to consume something that would kill you or change the course of your life for the re for the rest of your life anything that goes into your through your digestive tract can essentially ruin you for life you need to understand this and I'm sure that in the last couple of days, a lot of people have been reassessing their relationships and their friendships. I don't eat in people's houses and I have definitely had a few, gotten a few enemies along the way. Quite frankly, I cannot be bothered. My principles are my principles. I am not comfortable eating in your house. Like if I come to visit you, the last thing on my mind is food. When you, when you, when I come visiting you, the last thing on my mind is food. Make no mistake, I have eaten before coming to pay you a visit. So please, I am there for the company, not the nourishment. And I'm not saying that everyone has this intention. Absolutely not. We don't even know the story. We don't even know exactly what has transpired here. All we know that a lunch has gone wrong because a poisonous mushroom was served in a beef wellington that was prepared and i hope that erin patterson can clear her name because this has reverberated around australia and across the world it's like the modern day how to kill <laughs> you know like guide to nick of someone and again i'm not even sure why i should say this but i should say this and that is there's nobody that is what you risking your freedom for. There's no one. No one is what you losing your freedom for. There is just no one and nothing is what you losing your freedom for. I will be back as I follow. I am critically going to be following this particular story until I get to the end of it and uncover. I have said these are all alleged based on facts that has been presented to us on the media. Gail is not here to give us an account of the reason why they all decided to go for this particular launch situation. Neda is in, uh, Neda is in who is critically ill or Heather or Dawn. The only person that is now, that was present is Erin Patterson because she is saying that her children were not there. So we cannot tell you exactly what has happened. It is more, she said, and what the investigation would uncover. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Postcard Eyes Investigate. I tried to do it justice, but I will definitely keep you guys abreast as the story develops and unfolds. Until next time, guys, stay safe and be focused. Bye for now and thank you. For